guys welcome to my channel so I recently posted a video about how minimalist I am with our kids toys we have a five-year-old a three-year-old and a one-year-old and so I wanted to also show you how I store all their clothes because all three kids are girls I can do hand-me-downs for days and that's what I do because I'm trying to save money I'm trying to be debt free by 2021 summer. Let's fingers crossed the universe, you know, is working with us. So a way to do that is to not spend a bunch of money on kids clothes. So that's what I've done. I have six big storage bins that can fit under this bed. Right now I only have five because one of them uh, has puzzles in it and it's in the basement. But currently five under this bed and it's hundreds of clothes. A little rule of thumb I used is if it doesn't fit in the bin, we're not keeping it. And um, we've also lived in areas like we lived in San Diego, we lived in Oahu, and then we lived in 29 Palms, California, all very warm, hot places. So I am stocked up on the summer clothes and now that we live in central New York, it's already, today it was 37 degrees. And look, we have our Kobe hat out because I'm cold at night. And so what we're really having to buy is maybe two or three long sleeve pajamas or two or three pants or jeans or shirts because they have a couple. They just don't have enough to survive like a week of clothes, of messes or, you know, whatever happens to their clothes. I don't even know anymore. Okay, so enough staring at me. I'm going to show you the storage bins. So what I did is I went crazy one day and I got out a Sharpie scotch tape and I just started filling these bins. I found them at the PX um, in 29 Palms and they were like $8. And I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to buy that. So what I did is I labeled the side. So if I just pull up my bed skirt, I can see what it is with having, without having to yank it all out. And then I did, you know, short sleeve, long sleeve PJs. Like this one had a snowsuit in it and then jackets, pants. And I would just fill it up with all 24 month and 2T or 12 month and 18 month, whatever size I have. Whenever the bin gets filled, then I would not accept any more clothes from other people or I wouldn't buy any more clothes because it's unnecessary for me to have baby clothes, kid clothes everywhere that the kids aren't even able to use. And so it's the same here, 40. This is like my daughter is six. She's in size six. I don't know if that's six T. I don't know. I'm still learning sizes once you get out of the five T's. And so this is just her stuff that's thrown in. This is all her summer stuff. So whenever I buy some more masking tape, I will fix this. And so what I can do is I can still keep the same labels, but obviously change the size and then fold it better so it doesn't look like trash. These are the expensive bins. So the PX stopped selling these $8 bins over here. And so I went to Walmart and got this, I don't know if it was like $15 or something. I was not thrilled about paying $15 for it because I'm cheap. But uh, anyways, but it's a lot bigger and it has wheels and then it has little wheel divots so you can stack them on top of each other and they're not going to slide off. And it opens both ways. I mean, I guess that's helpful, but not really because I take the whole lid off anyways. This is all 5T clothes. All short sleeves, long sleeves, lots of dresses. Let me see if I can do this. Like, this is just shorts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17 shorts and pants. I mean, that's just right here. Don't underestimate the size of these bins because you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And like, this is like ballerina stuff. They all have one swimsuit and they all have one big jacket. And then they have one like light jacket that they wear. Cause I don't need a bunch of jackets everywhere there. I just, I can't keep up. I don't want to keep up. So yeah. And like, this is dresses. And 5T clothes are obviously bigger than the other sizes. If you're going to get one, you might as well get this one. 
because it's a lot bigger. But if you don't want to get the giant one, this is also still realistic to put everything in. This is just madness of clothes. All these are tank tops, one swimsuit, some pajamas. These are all mixed up. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just throwing them in. It got surprisingly cold here. Uh, it's like 37 when I woke up. And then I turned the heater on because I was so cold. And this is like, look at all these shorts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen shorts for fourteen. Why? I don't know. Because I had a shopping problem at one point, And now I refuse to buy any new clothes because it's like, no way. I have this for all three children. And then once the baby outgrows whatever clothes she's in. I just give it to a friend that we have here. She just had a baby girl, so I'm just like flooding her with clothes. And then whatever she doesn't like, she just gives away. It's a good way to save money if you just splurge a little bit on the bins and you can fit six under a Cali King. Or you can put it under your kid's bed or if you have multiple kids, you could put them under each kid's bed, like what they will be wearing, like winter clothes or the summer clothes. And it's a great way to save space because we are in a tiny house. Our house is 900 square feet and my room is small. But if you guys want to see any more videos about my minimalist-ish life, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video and check back for more videos.